Hello, everybody. It's Jonathan, Senor Smoke from the Ring of Fire. Yes. In Westchester County, New York, I bid you welcome. Um, we are here in mid-November-ish. It's probably uh, it's getting close to Thanksgiving. Um, and uh, what I'm seeing now is a lot of jobs that we were involved with earlier this year have now been finished. They've been photographed, and we're going to start popping online. We're going to start talking about them and video analysis as I'm about to do. Um, this one just dropped. This was in Westchester County in Briarcliff. We had a few jobs in that lovely town uh, this year. And um, I want to talk about this one in particular because, uh, number one, it does feature the Ring of Fire, the ROF Outdoor Kitchen Solution. So the island, you know, we provided it, uh, built it. And, um, you know, I just got the pictures on this job. And to me, uh, it, it's, it's really, it's very illuminating because... Um, I remember the first time I went to the guy's house for the survey, which was probably in June, and he just had an empty shell, man. He had a porch, you know, it was kind of like an old beat up deck. And um, he says, John, what can we do back here? And, you know, he has a deck, so he could not uh, do anything out of block. Uh, and that's why the ROF kitchen solution is perfect because uh, we could put it on a deck, we can put it on a patio, we can do whatever we want with it. We don't have to pour a pad. So in this, in this situation, we wanted to maintain the deck. Um, the ROF solution was, was perfect. So his whole thing was he wanted a long straight run and he wanted a pizza oven because his wife makes killer pizzas. So what we ended up doing was 16 feet uh, straight across from left to right. We've got a Blaze 5 grill with my favorite uh, door and draw combination underneath, 39 inches. That's the Blaze, uh, I think it's the BLZ DDC 39R. The Blaze grill itself, I think is about 40 inches. And moving, uh, again, moving to the right, then we have the Blaze refrigerator, the 5.2 cubic foot one. Uh, we have the pizza oven, and then we have the trash draw, recycle bin, dual purpose there. Um, but underneath the pizza oven, you'll notice this is a trend that we've seen this year, is that more and more people want wood cutouts, okay? The alpha oven, which is on top, you got the four pizza um, oven, is, um, uh, is a wood burner, okay? So you gotta have a supply of wood somewhere, and there is something to be said for the aesthetic of the arch with the wood placed in there. It looks very, very nice, plus it's functional. The pizza oven's right there above it. Originally, what he wanted to do or I should say she wanted to do, uh, wifey, was she wanted to have it be almost like a dual purpose oven where there was a pizza oven on top built into a shell and then underneath it, she wanted to have a fireplace. And we just found there was going to be issues in terms of combustibility with the thing that we provide. Um, it, it just wasn't gonna be a good idea. So they opted to do the countertop pizza oven. They've got the wood cut out. And what they did in the wood, in the, um, in the arch, is you could see this fire brick in there. So, uh, which actually, again, the aesthetic is very nice, but the arch also provides a bit of uh, insulation in terms of combustibility from the heat coming above. Because those alpha ovens, when you're burning wood, you're burning charcoal, those things are gonna be touching a thousand degrees, if not higher. Um, the job came out fantastic. He ended up using a bluestone top. Um, he colored the deck. He did some type of treatment too. I think he stained it. And, um, and then he did a, I uh, believe he did an El Dorado. You know, actually he didn't do an El Dorado veneer. That's actually thin veneer stone. So that's real stone, just cut thinner. Uh, goes right on to our uh, ROF kitchen solution, voila, done. So um, again, 16 feet. Um, they're tickled pink about it. They'll be cooking a lot of pizzas this Thanksgiving, from what I understand. Um, so easy, so simple. Um, what else can I say? Uh, again, I, I, it's like, I feel like it was just yesterday that I was at his house, um, walking in his backyard, going over ideas. We moved over to the drawing, which you could see here. And then it was uh, construction, delivery, installation. They're getting ready to cook. So um, folks, we're here to help. No matter what the scope of your outdoor kitchen project is, we can help you. We do more. We do fire pits. We do outdoor fireplaces. Come to the Ring of Fire in Westchester County. We aim to please. Thank you.